Hello students. Welcome to the next lecture. In this lecture, we will start the new topic that is called as the game theory. That is the lecture number one in the subject game theory. Uh, in this uh, lecture, we just divide the presentation into two parts. One is in the first first part, we have just discussed what is the theory behind the graph theory, what are the various applications, and what are the basic terms which are associated with this game theory. Since this is the first lecture, so that's why this is necessary to introduce about the basic theories. And the second part of this presentation will be talk about the one method that is a saddle point method to solve the game problems. So first of all, what is a game? Everybody knows that every child understands what is the game is there. Okay. So we, we use in our day-to-day -day life that whenever someone overact with something sometimes called as a, it's just a game. It means it means that game is we have talking about that so sometime also the games are often not serious are there but here that we are talking about the game theory that is quite different from these three points are there so what is that we have talking about the mathematical games which are the subject of this lecture which are quite different from these three points are there or in our day-to-day -day life which we have seen uh, in a layman language or we can sometimes act as a overact so what is the game theory so what is the game theory so game theory is nothing but the mathematical theory which deals with the competitive situations are there what is the meaning of this competitive situations or somebody called as a human interaction what is the meaning of that so what is that is so as we know that whenever we are to, uh, try to move on the game or some strategy games are there agents agents means there is a person which choose some strategies that will maximize their profits or returns given the strategies the other agents choose for example what is the meaning of this line is that say for example in the market there are the two brands that is brand a and b and both brands the owner of the or ceo of these brands wants to maximize their shares or their profits so what will happen the tasks which are performed by this a brand ceo will definitely be followed by this brand b or the brand b will look about this the situation of this brand a so that's the meaning of the, the person which choose strategy that will maximize their returns given the strategies that the other agent chooses that or in other terms we can also say that a decision where the two or the more opposite parties here we call as the two parties if there are the three different brands are there then there are more than two with conflicting interest and the action of the one depending upon the action which the opponent takes okay so that's the that is the action of the one depending on the action of the others so this terms is called as the competitive situation that's why competitive there's a competition is there situation means that are changing with respect to the decisions and the time so everything is a game that we have seen in our day to day life that is whenever we are trying to move a chess we have to play a chess we have to play a soccer driving dating and stock market even that or other examples you can see here advertising are there partnership when we are moving on the job market insurance are also be there because whenever a person whenever company take insurance on on that then it's definitely a game is there depending on the age okay and similarly for the other skin are there that is a trade agreement electronics and then so on so what is that what is the brief history about the game theory we just quickly move on that that is in 1928 the first person that is a uh, john von newman wrote a first paper on the game theory while in the 1951 of the most famous that there is nash invented the concept of the nash equilibrium while in the 1994 these three persons that is a uh, hariansi nash and selton won the Nobel prize in the economics for this game theory. that's why the game theory is so important in our day-to-day -day life as well as the subject of the part so what are the key points which are involved in the game theory that is what are the parameters which are associated with it that we have discussed that so whenever we are talking about the game so that is a game are always played between the two persons so that is called as the persons here we call as the players so that is who is interacting that is how many players are how many persons are playing the game second term is associated with the strategy what are the options of the each player so for example if i say this is my player a and this is my player b so i just consider two player only so player a opt some steps 
of some strategies are there so i call as this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 that is player a choose the three steps are there and similarly player b choose certain steps are there it may be three it may be less than three or it may be more than three so this for example in the chess okay whenever a player a and the player b play a chess so player a moves certain steps are there so that is they are called as the strategy what are the options of the each player and out of that option which one is chooses that is the separate so once they they have the separate options so if they choose this so they can analyze the impact of this a2 over this b1 b2 b3 and that is called as the payoff that is how do strategies translate into the outcome outcomes means that is a result outcome means results and once we get the results then we will analyze that what is the best and what is the worst result. and similarly the informations and the rationalities are there so the game theory is basically that there are the two types are there one is the pure strategy second is the mixed strategy pure strategy is also called as the saddle point when the saddle point is saddle point means equilibrium that is uh, uh, meaning is that we can find the solution of the problem and here we we can't find the solution of the problem so that that uh, is first part is there that is uh, we are trying to discuss in this presentation also this will be we are talking about the later so since we here we get the solution easily and here there is a no saddle point so it means we have to discretize this into the further which is basically of the three types b it is a two cross two means two players this is two cross n that is a two and this is n is a Uh, number of the players are there or 2 cross m are there and this is the m cross n there are the m play m alternatives and the n there are the m alternatives here a m and there are the n uh, n alternatives here for the b player while here is a 2 cross n means there are the two alternatives here you can also write this as a n cross 2 or m cross 2 also no problem about that so there are the four five methods are there which are we cover in this course that is a game theory what is the saddle point the, when saddle point does not exist then it's all arithmetic methods graphical method and the linear programming method we will discuss one by one in the each video so right now we are discussing here this one thing. so now look at that in the last slide we have seen that there are the two type of the strategies are there one is the pure second is the mix so what is the meaning of the pure so pure means that is whatever that you have decided before uh, before uh, uh, starting the game so this is a pre decided plan of the pre decided pre determined plan of the action plan of the action based on which games are played and which does not change during the game so that is means once you have decided the game okay whatever you have decided the plan so which does not changes the game which is called as the pure strategy and which are changes this is called as the mixed strategy and definitely which are changes with some probabilities are there so the pure strategy is a special case of the mixed strategy so once we have played a game so definitely we want uh, some solution so when what's the solution is when the best strategy for the both players is found means if there is a player a here this is a player b so we have some observations and if i get this is the best strategy this is my a1 this is my a2 so a2 is the best strategy for the player a and here this again a second so b2 is the best strategy for the player b so once we found this then we call as this solution of the game so that is when the best strategy for the both player is found and then we call as the solution of the problem and what is the value of the game this number if i say this number is my 4 so this 4 represents the value of the game so what are the classification of the game theory so there are the several classifications are there one classification is that is a classification means that is a type of the game theory what are the types of the game so first game type is the two person game as the name suggests the two person so a game with two number of the players look at that this slide there are the two number of the players so we call as a two person game what is the zero sum as the name itself zero that is a sum so whenever we are talking about the two player ab so it means if this win then definitely this will lose the game or vice versa if this win then definitely this will lose the game so the zero sum game means the sum of the amount won by this player if i say this is the sum of the amount is alpha this is my beta so then the sum will be zero or sum will be zero you can say that the sum of the amount won by this player 
is nothing but the sum of the amount loses by the two players. For example, if I say there are again two brands in the market, A and B, say this is my say uh, Pepsi and this is a Coca-Cola is there. So what is that? If he he purchase the 35 percentage of the shares, then definitely he will lose the 35 percentage of the share of the certain product. So it means this means the the profit he has gained by the player A is equivalent to the loss of the player B. So that is if such type of the situation occurs, then we call it the zero sum game. What is the non-zero when this sum and losses, sum of the gain and losses are not equal? We call it the non-zero sum game and based on the strategies we call it the pure strategy and the mixed strategy game so the pure strategy game is in which the best strategy of the each player throughout the game and the mixed strategies they have the different strategy of adopted in the different times in the game we will see how it influence on the game in the couple of slides so now in the in this presentation we are talking about the two person zero game so look at that there is a two person it means there are the two persons which are playing the game. Zero sum means that is if A win, then the B lose. So there are that only this option we have opted in this presentation. So the game with only the two players in which the game of the one player are the losses of the second player is called as the zero sum player. So it is also called as the rectangular game. Why we call it as a rectangle? Because we have to represent in terms of the rectangle. So and if once we are represented in the rectangle, then we the information we have presented in terms of the choices of the A and B is called as the pay of matrix or we call as the gain matrix but that is a both have the same thing that is a pay of matrix or the gain matrix what is that so we can see this is there so there say what is that these numbers are called as the strategies these are called as the strategies of the A and this 1 to N are called as the strategy for the player B. It means either player A can opt the strategy A1 or 2 or the M. A while for the B is 1 to N. And what is the meaning of the A11 is if the player A choose the strategy 1 while the player B again choose the strategy 1 then the profit or the gain of the gain this is the always be the gain this is the loss. So the gain obtained by the player A is A11 and A12 is the gain obtained by the player A when he opted the strategy 1 while the player B opted the strategy 2. So since there are the two players are there so we have the two types of the strategies or two types of the payoff matrices one is with respect to the A second is with respect to the B and since we are talking about the two person zero game so if this is a payoff matrix for the player A, so what is the pay? If it is a win, this is a loss. So how you convert this matrix into the loss? Simply we, you can put up a negative sign in front of that. So A11 is the gain obtained by the player 1A when he opted the strategy 1 and the player B opted strategy 1. While the, this negative means the, this is a loss of player B. So what is the meaning of this? example or what is the meaning of this payoff matrix so look at this example we have considered that two player a and b and player a has three strategies a1 a2 a3 while the player b has b1 and b2 strategies are there so what is the meaning of it what is the meaning of nine what is the meaning of this eight first of all where it means when player a chooses the strategy a2 during the game played game and the player B played a strategy play a game with the strategy B1 then the player A what will happen the player A will gain how much amount is say this is in terms of the rupees all are in the rupees so this rupees 8 while if A2 player A of the strategy A2 and the B player of the strategy B2 then the player A gain rupees 6. So what is the meaning of that? So if I forget about the player B, if in general if we saw that, what will happen if I say what will happen if the player A opt the strategy A2? 
what is the meaning of that so if i say player a chooses the strategy a2 so then what is the gain for him so what is the meaning of that so if the player a choose the strategy a2 then he may gain either 8 or 6 okay depending upon the strategy opted by the player b however we can say that however we can say that that is so at least if if i say talking about the a2 only so at least or you can say the player a guaranteed a gain player a granted a gain of what is that gain of at least what is the meaning so 8 and 6 so it means at least minimum of 8 and 6 that is at least 6 whatsoever whatsoever the strategy opted by player b okay so i hope it is clear to all of you that whenever the player a choose the strategy a2 he can he or she can win uh, either 8 or 6 so what is the meaning of that that is a player a will guaranteed a gain of at least that is a minimum among them is a 6 whatever the decision opted by the player b so that's why we are talking about the green so green is representative for the player b so player a so what is that the at least 6 is the unit which is gained by the player a whatever the strategy opted by the player b similarly look at the minimum of 9 and 2 is 2 so what is the meaning of this 2 is player a will gain what is that at least okay will gain at least the 2 rupees or the 2 units whatsoever the strategy opted by the b when the player a chooses the strategy a1 and similarly for here and since this A and B are opposite to each other, so we can take as the maximum of this. So that's why this is the maximum. So always this remember rule, player A, that is a row wise, always be the gain rule. So we find the minimum that is, and for the player B is for the maximum. Okay. So what is the meaning of it? What is, what we conclude is that. So what we conclude is that. So if I say what is the overall, what is the overall gain? for the player a so since player a is the profit side so we want to maximize this because this is a minimum gain opted by the strategy a1 a2 and a3 so what is the maximum of this is this number i just put up as a star and since this player b is in the low side so what is that this will be a minimum so you can find the minimum of this it will be here so that is the maximum of the minimum gain so this is the gain so this is my minimum gain so the maximum of the minimum gain is called as the maxi min so this maxi means first max means that is the maximum and second min is called as the minimum so that is maximum of the minimum is called as the max min strategy so we call as the max min firstly we find the minimum and then maximum while on the other hand this is the maximum loss and player b always wants to minimize their loss so you can find the minimum among this and this is called as the min max so these are the two type of the strategies which play important role while solving the graph uh, graph theory oh sorry on the game theory one is called as the max maxi min that is firstly find the minimum and then find their maximum while on the other is a mini max firstly find the maximum and then the minimum so based on this what is the maximum and the minimax criteria for the optimality so we can generalize this to m alternatives or m strategies to the n strategies of the player b so look at that there are the m strategies opted by the player a there are the n strategies opted by the player b so a11 is a gain obtained by the player a when he opted the strategy 1 and the player b opted the strategy 2 1 also what is the meaning of this is player a opted the strategy 2 and the player b strategy opted the strategy n then a will gain a 2 n rupees so what is that if player a if the player a plays with the strategy 1 so what is a minimum amount or what is a minimum guaranteed for the gain so how you can find the minimum of this 
a11 a12 up to a1n that is the minimum of this so minimum of a1 j so j is for my represented for the column so that is this similarly for the second row wise so this is a minimum of the second row and similarly for the nth row this is there okay and what is the overall profit or overall gain obtained by the player a is you can find the minimum that is here and find their maximum that is the maxi min so that is maxi min so what is the minimum is minimum of a i j over the with respect to i so maxi min this is the maxi min principle for the player a similarly for the minimax for the player b firstly find the maximum among the columns and then look at that there here is a and j are there so what is the relation between the max and the min max and the min, uh, max min are there be? so assume that this is and this is the relation maxi min is always be less than of their mini max b how it is that since here so assume that whatever the answer is that look at that this is my player a this is player b here is my a11 a12 and here is a1n here is a1m am2 and amn so what is that this firstly you can find the minimum and then take the maximum i called as a apq while for the column wise i represent it as ars okay so look at that for the row wise this is the minimum of a1j this is the minimum of amj so what is that apq what is that that this is the minimum of the pth row what is the apq p is my represent row q is for the column so this is a minimum it will be less than of the aps so what is that this is somewhere ps so ps is any other element of the pth row similarly for here ars this is the maximum so ars is the maximum and it will be represented the minimum so look at these two relations are there relation number 1 and 2 we get this one okay and what is that this is there so maximin is less than always be the minimax we will see the results in the relation also since this is the less than of sign so it means if there exists anything in between them that that value is called as the value of the game and our task is to find this value so we will check whether there is an equality holds or not so how to solve this game theory man so there are the several methods that we covered in this course so i just explained this five one by one in the each video so uh, this is the first video so we are talking about the saddle point it is one of the simplest method in the game theory problem so how it works that so what is the saddle point b what is the saddle point look at that this example you have to find a one point or one number okay which is minimum in its row and maximum in its column itself you have to look at the one number in the game problem which is minimum in the row as well as maximum in the column look at that if you talk about this this is a minimum in the row is it maximum in the column no so it means 2 is not the saddle point look at this 6 is this 6 is the minimum in the row yes is this maximum in the column yes so it means this 6 is my saddle point or saddle point is also called as the equilibrium point or is it saddle point 6 is minimum in the row and maximum in the column yes so this is also be the saddle point can this 4 be the saddle point no because this is not the minimum in this row okay so since this example is very simple so you can find it manually but what is the method for finding it so what is the method so how to find the saddle point that is the one of the simple so what is that if you have say some observations are there 7 4 3 Four, nine, and thirteen, and so on. So this is my a one, a two, b one, b two, and b three. So what is the rule? Is firstly select the minimum element in the each each row. So look at always remember this is the minimum. So look at the minimum element in the each row. That is the three. Minimum element is four. Okay, and underline the largest. So because this is the minimum, and our task is to maximize the profit for the player A. find max of the minimum so what is the max or minimum is 4 so either you can circle that or you can put up the underline okay similarly for the column wise since this is the loss matrix so find the maximum among them what is the maximum is that is a maximum to maximum loss he has occurred that is a 7 then it's a 9 then it's a 
and since it is a maximum so underlined it's a minimum b so what is the minimum is this b okay and check these two boxes are there if they are equal then we call as the saddle point exists so if these two elements are equal then we call as the saddle point exists and the corresponding value is called as the value of the game if since in this example the values are not equal so it means saddle point does not exist so few examples are there so so that you may able to understand so for for example look at that this is the player a this is the player b since it is not mentioned that so it is quite obvious that whenever player a here player b it is always this is for my profit side and this is for my loss side or this is for my win and this is for my lose side side so this is the observation is there so what is the first step is you have to find the minimum of the each row so green is represented for here so what is the minimum element is here is minus 2 okay what is the minimum element the second row is 1 third row is my minus 4 and is minus 6 now select the maximum among them what is the maximum value of is this 1 so i can put up the box okay you can underline that you can select the and so on similarly look at the maximum value among them what is the maximum value among them is 5 okay the meaning of 5 is this is the maximum loss occurred by the player b when he opt the strategy 1 whatsoever the player a opt the strategy similarly what is the maximum loss player b opted a uh, player b will suffer when he opted the strategy 2 whatsoever the strategy opted by the player a so what is the maximum loss is 3 and so on so we will get this one okay so here since this is a minimum so here we are talking about the maxi min so find the maximum profit and this is the loss are there so what is the minimum loss is here so since both the elements are same so it means the saddle point exist and it is existing at what point is there so what is the common point is there let's say 2 3 look at that this common so what is the common point is here okay so that is a 2 and 3 so the saddle point exist at the point 2, 3 so what is the best strategy for the a is that is a second so player a choose the strategy 2 while the player b choose the strategy 3 then the value of the game will be this value sorry this value this is not the value of is 1 and since this is a win and this is a loss and it's a zero sum game so the sum will be zero so one for the a minus one for the b look at the example number 2 so i opt the two strategy for the player a three strategy for the player b so find the minimum of this row and maximum for this column b so look at that the minimum of this is 6 maximum of minimum is 2 and so on and look at the what is the maximum is what is the maximum and what is the minimum now there are two minimums so put them two as a box b okay so since here the maximum value 6 here is at 6 so are they uh, they are equal yes so it means the saddle point exists so how many saddle points are there they are at 2 and these are called as my value of the game this is also called as the value of game so what is the best strategy for the player a is so what is the common intersection point is that is this is player the common strategy for the player a is 1 while for here is again 1 and for the player b is either he can opt the strategy 1 or the strategy 2 so they will get the best solutions and the value of the game is my 6 for the player a minus 6 for the player b okay so look at that also remember what's my relation is that is the maxi min is always be less than of the mini max you can always be check that at any stage what is the mini max so firstly you can find the max so what is that that this is the line for the mini max and this is the line for the max mini uh, maxi min so always see that mini max this is my mini max okay here what is the mini max is that is a, firstly you can find the maximum and then the minimum minimum is 6 and here this is so since equality there so that's why the value has a saddle point okay so for example if i say this is my 4 so what is the maximum is 4 so there now this value is my 4 so now it equality is not be there so saddle point does not exist look at one more example is there so player a opted the four strategies player b opted the five strategies are there so look at that what is that the minimum is zero and so on what is the maximum value is here this 
and for the maximum and the minimum among them is again here so again the values are same so the saddle point exists and the saddle point existing at this is here so this that is the second row and the third column so the best player strategy for the player is two while the player is third and the value of the, this this four and this four is my value of the game so that is four and minus four so look at one more example find the values of the p and q here p is gear q is there that will give you the 2 comma 2 what is that 2 a2 and b2 this as a saddle point so you have it is given that the 2 comma 2 is a saddle point this is my saddle point okay and you have to find the value of the p and q so what will happen so firstly you have to find the minimum value so what is the minimum of here is 2 what is the minimum of here is since it is given that 2 comma 2 is a saddle point so it means it must have a 7 and what is that it can be of anything okay since it is a minimum so it can be 4 it can be p so i just leave them for the column this is a maximum this is a 10 this is a maximum but it's a given that it's a 7 and here this is the maximum so it can be 6 or q okay and similarly for it can be 4 or p so what is that it is given that this 7 2 comma 2 is a saddle point so what is the meaning of that this p it can't be greater than of the 7 it can't be because if it is so then since this is the minimum value so you have to find the maximum among them so then this value is be the saddle point so but 7 is a maximum given to be saddle point so what is the value of the p so what is the range of p is it must be less than equal to 7 and similarly for here since this is the maximum value and you have to find the minimum among them so what is the minimum is 7 so it means that definitely q must be greater than or equal to 7 because if it is less than of the 7 so say less than 7 is a 7 or 5 or 6 then the saddle point will be here okay so it means the value of p must be less than equal to 7 and q must be greater than equal to 7 so look at their solution since 2 comma 2 is a saddle point so the maximum value so look at that saddle point is and since saddle point is given so maxi min is must be less than of the mini max and the maximum is both are given to be 7 7 so what is the maximum so i have calculated here 2 7 or either 4 or p okay the maximum 7 and so on so the value of p is less than q must be greater than so this is the way to solve the uh, saddle point problems are there so what we have studied so far is i just quickly summarize that for any rectangular game or the two person zero game there always exists the optimal strategy when the minimax is equal to maximum saddle point may or may not exist okay we will see in the next example there may be more than the one saddle point you can see the example number two okay and there may be then there may be that the value of game is a zero if it is so then we called as the zero or fair game okay so uh, you can see that very uh, say these are the values say minus 3 minus 2 6 say 2 0 2 5 minus 2 and minus 4 so these are my three strategies for the player a and uh, three strategy for the player b so what is the minimum of this so what is the minimum of this line is my minus 3 this is my 0 minimum is minus 4 what is the maximum of this is my 5 this is 0 6 what is the minimum since this is the minimum so what is the maximum value is 5 what is the minimum is 6 now look at that the saddle point exists and the value of the game is 0 and if the value of game is 0 then we call as this is a fair game okay so next lecture we will study about what will happen when there does not exist any the saddle point okay that, that method is called as the mixed strategy so far we have studied the pure strategy methods are there next lecture will be on the mixed strategy look at this example if you find the minimum is 5 this so what is the maximum among them is now this is 5 and what is the minimum is there so look at that this is is there any saddle point exist no so there is no saddle point is there so then how you solve this game problem so that is called as when there is no saddle point exist then what is the 
rule for finding the game theory. So that will be my next lecture. You will be able to understand. Till then, you have to learn. You have to read the basic definitions which are presented in this presentation very carefully, so that you may able to learn what is the two percent zero sum game, what is the strategy meanings. Okay, what is the meaning of the value of the game? So before uh, move on the second lecture, you may able to learn these few terms and try to solve their saddle point problems carefully. Best of luck, students. Feel free to ask again and again your doubts. Put up your comments. I'm more than happy to solve your queries. Thank you very much.